Hi, I'm Mike Wells in Los Angeles, California, and we're here to check out the Dangerous Music Back CQ. So here we have a hard rock track from a female quartet named the Electrets here in Los Angeles, mixed by my good friend Lucas Fackler. What I thought about when this this mix when I got it was it could use a little more a little more thump on the low end, you know, not not a whole lot, but just a little to give it some definition. I really like the top, but I feel like her vocal gets a little rash, a little edgy when I get the gain up. So I'd like to keep the high end big and wide, but I'd also like to control that vocal a little bit when the gain comes up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the backs to give us a little more space on the top end, get a little more thump out of that bottom, but also keep the bottom tight and smooth out that vocal a touch. We're gonna be using all aspects of the back CQ on this track. What I wanna show you is some exaggerated moves on what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna pull it back so you can have more of an idea about what I would do in mastering. So to begin with, we're going to use the back sandal section starting at about 84 hertz. I'm really gonna bump this up so you can hear what's going on. You're gonna hear a lot more girth and power on the low end, and it's, it's gonna get a little messy, so I'm gonna use the cut filter. I'm gonna use that at 24 so you can hear it get a little clean as well. Tighten it up as well. On the top end, <clears throat> I wanna open up and get a little more space out of the top. So I'm gonna, again, push this really hard so you can hear the exaggeration of what I'm trying to do. So we've got these both pushing up at plus five, just to really open it up and hear you so you can hear what I'm doing. We're gonna use the, uh, the cut filter on the top end. I'm gonna set that at 18K. So with the uh, combination of the backs curves and the cut filters, we're really gonna hear what this bad boy's doing. First, just let me play the track so you can get familiar with it. Here you go. So you have an idea of what the track sounds like. Now I'm gonna put it in with just the back's full tilt. So if you're listening with headphones in a good listening environment, you're gonna notice a very big difference with subtle moves. Check this out. So now you're noticing those are some really big moves, but you're hearing an idea of what I wanna push. We're pushing the bottom, we're pushing the top, and then we're, we're taking the top top and the bottom bottom back a little bit. So let me pull this back to what I'd actually be doing in mastering. So I'm gonna take the bottom end back to where I was doing this with the mastering of the track to about a dB. So I've got a dB boost going on again at 84 hertz. And then with this top, we're gonna be doing a plus two. And again, I'm gonna keep my cut filter at 18 kilohertz. So now, <clears throat> I'm gonna play this going back and forth. I'm gonna do round one of the chorus without the backs. And when I get to round two of the chorus, I'm gonna put the backs in. So this time you'll be hearing the differences. It'll be more subtle, but this would be more in an applicable way of how you do it in a real situation. So check this out. have a lot more power and focus in the bottom, yet we're not getting a flubby bottom. We have more sense of width and clarity and space in the top, but we are at the same time smoothing out that vocal and keeping it in place. So that's a great example of using the backs in a mastering situation with subtle moves and big returns. Thanks.